Hello everyone and welcome to the Coding Branch. I hope you're all as excited as I am today because we get to mess with the best voice cloning AI in town. Two things kind of held me back from making this video. One is that I have mostly a coding channel here and this AI isn't exactly open source so I couldn't put together the code to deploy it myself. And the second reason is that I was hoping with the exponential growth of AI that there would be a good open source voice cloning AI coming out soon enough that I could skip this one. Unfortunately, there hasn't been. But fortunately, this voice cloning AI is insanely good. The AI we're going to be talking about today is called Eleven Labs. They seem to have created some kind of magic that thus far can't be competed with. And it's been a lot of fun messing with. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. As usual, I'll leave a link in the description below so you can have access to this website. Either that, or just type in beta.11labs.io in your URL bar and you'll be met with this website. And here, they have a bold statement where they call their Prime Voice AI the most realistic and versatile AI speech software ever. I have to say, oftentimes companies say, we're the best. Meanwhile, there are 10 other companies who can compete in the market. But in this instance, I do have to say, they are right. It is the most realistic voice cloning AI I've ever heard. If there is another voice cloning AI you think is better, let me know in the comments down below and I'll be sure to cover it on the channel. If we scroll down here, you'll find a number of use cases for this AI, including storytelling, reading the news, and creating audiobooks. All good use cases, but let's check one out. Chapter 1 In my younger and more vulnerable years, my father gave me some advice that I've been turning over in my mind ever since. Whenever you feel like criticizing anyone, he told me, just remember that all the people in this world haven't had the advantages that you've had. Wow, okay, that's what I mean. I'm honestly shocked that this is an AI. The major thing I think they do amazingly well compared to other AIs is they tend to pronounce words properly in the right context, almost as if you can hear the emotions behind the words. And that's something they mentioned down here. It is truly mind-blowing. If you're interested in keeping up with AI, they do have a blog here, so be sure to check that out. But I know what you're all here for, so let's get right into actually using the AI. First up, you have to sign in. And it's completely free to sign up and use the basic features. However, if you want more in-depth features, you'll have to pay a small amount starting at $5 a month. Once you've signed in, you can go to Speech Synthesis as you can see here in the settings, there are a number of default voices. But if you want to add another voice, you simply have to have a voice clip that is roughly a minute long. The better the quality, the better the clone will come out. Another really cool part is that it's becoming multilingual, starting with English, German, Polish, Spanish, Italian, French, Portuguese, and Hindi. Now, that's what everybody's been looking for, so I hope they keep expanding the support. Now that you're familiar with the UI, let's add my own voice. I'll go ahead and click Add, type in the name, and upload the voice file. If you want, you can sample your voice clip here and even add a description and labels on the voice you're adding. I'll go ahead and skip all that and get right into the coding. So let's get back onto the voice synthesis. Now, as you see, the voice you've added will be on the list. Go ahead and pick it and then type whatever you want the AI to say. I, of course, had ChatGPT write me a haiku about JavaScript, and that's because it's far better than what I could come up with. I'm going to go ahead and read it, then I'll have the AI read it, and we'll see how close it is. Web's vibrant brushstrokes, JavaScript paints interplay, code dances with joy. Web's vibrant brushstrokes, JavaScript paints interplay, code dances with joy. Wow. Okay, that still amazes me. It literally took me less than five minutes to clone a voice. The future is definitely now. AI can write poetry better than me and read better than me. Maybe these machines will actually outsmart me sooner than I thought. But that's going to about wrap it up for me. If you enjoy this type of shorthanded content, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe on your way out. Remember folks, stay hungry and stay foolish.